And while they tell you that they investigated only for two months, is bullshit. This started in 2020, right before the election, when Ken Paxton had his eye on the 2020 election. In fact, in February of 2021, February 1st of 2021, Here's a headline by AP. A Texas lawyer says he found a tracking device on his pickup truck during an escalating court battle with a businessman at the center of an FBI investigation into Attorney General Ken Paxton. Wait, stop. What was that? Oh, wait, 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 stop. What was that? You mean the FBI was investigating Ken Paxton and the Attorney General of Texas? in 2020. Did you guys know about it? Did they tell you about it? Has anyone mentioned that? And allow me to beg the question. Do you not think that Abbott knew that they were investigating Ken Paxton? Do you not think that people in the office of Ken Paxton knew that he was being investigated by the FBI? Of course they fucking knew. This is Bush throwing his weight around. Here's what the real skinny is. Two of the most remarkable pillars of our Constitution, the Ninth and Tenth Amendments. These amendments may not receive the same attention as their more renowned counterparts, but they possess an unparalleled spirit of liberty and embody the essence of our great nation. The Ninth Amendment boldly proclaims the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Where? Listen, people in Texas, this is something we've got to do. Pull all the freaking communication of the House. Where they got their information. Did they get a copy of the FBI investigation? What initiated the FBI investigation into Ken Paxton? Why would the FBI be investigating Ken Paxton in 2020? That's where you get to the sauce of it. Simple thing. Going back, this is where we need to strike. We need to demand to know how the House in two months did what the FBI has been doing for three years. Huh. You mean they gave it to them? You mean Ken Paxton, like I said, is America's Attorney General? Huh? Ten Amendment reinforces the notion that the federal government's authority is limited to specific powers granted to it by the Constitution. It affirms that all other powers remain with the states or the people. This division of power serves to safeguard us against tyranny, ensuring that decisions are made closest to the people they affect and allowing for diverse approaches to the government among themselves and then as a whole within our great nation. See, education is key here. Why are we allowing the federal government to manipulate Texas local House and Senate? Why are we allowing the federal government to intervene in Texas matters? Well, I think we need some loyalty investigations to see the corporations that are funding these things. 